Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Oh, we got some okay. music in the we got background. Some music. It's sounding a little funky, isn't right it, now. buddy? Funky town in the house. <laughs> okay. It's, it's Friday, Friday night. night. Friday Night Flies. We threw you off your game there right yeah. off the start, didn't I? With, with the music, I'm... I'm, I'm the new test dummy, I guess. <laughs> okay, so it's Friday Night Flies. I got um, a nice simple chronomid uh, pattern for you. Our Dr. Slicks shipment and Solar Res showed up today. Um, came in today. So we're pimping it out with this gear. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, right. What else? <laughs> yeah. Man, so <laughs> it's been a pretty eventful. We we haven't had a show in a couple weeks. I know. Um, uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Last week I bought a house, and the week before we yeah. had a big trade show down in uh, Cloverdale. So it's uh, it's been a pretty busy, busy. week. Plus the guiding company's kind of taken off a little bit. So yeah. Scotty's been missing in action, but yeah, not really. He hasn't been missing any action. He's been out there catching yeah, fish that's true. right in center. So. Anyhow, you got a beautiful fly for I us do. tonight, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna go down to the bottom screen here. We're gonna can that funky tune we got going on. So, what are you tying for us today? Okay, buddy? so I'm tying a fairly simple chronomid. I sort of came up with this style uh, or this chronomid um, basically with Brad's last two um, chronomids that he did. That's funny. I, I inspired both you and Zach. Zach's got a couple real doozies for us. This oh week yeah. Too. So I'm pretty excited yeah. to show everybody so, what's going on there. I hadn't tied a chronomid in a while, so I was like, I was feeling the vibe. Um, Brad <laughs> gave me these sick hooks. Um, they're the beads, man. Beads. The hooks. The hook, the beads. What am I talking about? Yeah, the man. beads. Um, yeah, the these beads are just amazing. Um, look at look at that. Yeah, back they, it out a little bit because it was just looking like fireball there, but there we go. You could yeah. yeah they, it shines through. It's a quartz shines bead. Through, yeah. So whatever you lay underneath it shows through the glass. Yeah. Or the quartz, I should say. So I I just put um like a really yellow green thread underneath to help emphasize. Like chartreuse, maybe. And yeah. <laughs> well, it, it it's more than chartreuse. Yeah, it is. You're right. It's fluorescent. It's fluorescent. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm gonna start the fly. Yeah, <laughs> fluorescent chartreuse. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's get on her, buddy. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to slide my bead back and take my bobbin with my chartreuse green. And we got our Dr. Slick's razor scissors in. Look how sharp that was, eh? I know. Right out of the package. You just look at that thread and it wants to cut apart. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, whoever watched my last episode, this is Redemption Week this week. You might be setting me. yourself oh, up yeah, for yeah, No, yeah, no, yeah, I, I'm... Don't we ever say that? I guarantee you I'm not saying myself up. <laughs> we should have nicked your thread a couple times, but... Oh, that... That would not have been some. That would... Oh, I already... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would... That would have made me cry probably a little bit. Okay, so now we got that... Um, thread in there and we're going to start off with our black again this is a pretty simple fly so don't break your thread oh yeah uh, that would be shameful if that happened yeah you were on roll last week weren't you buddy yeah five or six times you know what I, I don't think I've seen you sweat or perspire like that <laughs> prior to that even yeah. working buddy I hadn't seen you oh yeah even like working that. hey okay so help wrap that down get off some of it. I want I want the whole body to be black so I'm just gonna try and wrap it pretty close together and then any spots I missed I'll rewrap it again again with the chronomid it's a nice slim body style so it's not you don't want a huge body it's not like you're using dubbing or anything like that I'm just gonna get it all the way down there. We were out uh, yesterday, me and Scotty, working over a small lake in Pemberton. Oh yeah. And uh, we timed an emerging pattern, like a hatch. Oh yeah. Like almost perfect. The, the lake was just dead calm. 
we started kicking out in our new uh, e-boats from Oakcast, and the lake just came to life. <laughs> That's pretty and, sick. Uh, I didn't have any emerging patterns. You didn't have any emergers. Nope. All I had was a box full of small nymphs. And I mean, we still got into a lot of fish. Scott got a few on the dry fly as well, but uh, good, that kind of inspired it. Scott's fly for this week. It was yeah. a dry fly kind of day, though. I, I had the action on dry flies up at Ivy Lake that day as well. Yeah, man. It was a fun day. It was like the first real nice hot sunny day. Was it? And it never got windy. No, it was there nice. There was a little bit of a breeze, but not much. Oh, okay. yeah. See, Ivy was windy. So, yet. I've got my half hitch in there. The reason I put it right there, made it a little bit bigger, is because that's going to be my indicator when to stop my red wire. Usually, guys will use tinsel. I prefer wire. Doesn't. Not a big deal. Plus, I'm trying to go for the non breaking method today. <laughs> okay. Bomb proof, eh? Yeah, bomb proof. Well, honestly, after I tied that fly two weeks ago, I went home and I just. I, I used every heavy material I could. And tied so many streamers. Was even funny. Yeah, you probably cried yourself to sleep, but that's okay. I did. We all go through it, buddy. Guaranteed. We all go through it. It's just growing pains. Oh yeah, growing pains, hey. Eh? But you know what? Even even with the malfunctions there, that fly actually turned out okay. Okay, there we go. Did you watch the show? Oh yeah, I did. It was not. It was. I was like, oh boy. Okay, He's so one of those nights, and I'm glad it's gonna be. Everybody uh, wants to see that. Oh yeah, totally. You guys are laughing in the background at me. Always nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna carry this thing back. That's the one thing about tying with the camera. It's awkward. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie this down. Get that over on the other side. There we go. Now I've just got a crappy pair of cheap scissors for the th for the wire. Cutting wire, you got her, buddy. Could get the Dr. Slick's wire cutter scissors as well if you wanted. I got a couple of them. They're pretty good. Brad's got some. They're pretty nice, actually. I've used them. I just had an old pair of scissors in my box, so. Best way to get rid of wire is to break it, though. Well, yes. It's the cleanest. It, it takes it back to the point where you want it to go. There's no stub. There's no nothing. But it's a pain. It is a pain. Okay. So, I'm just going to wrap that stub in. And I'm going to get my peacock curl. <laughs> this is where I actually might break it. So, um, This peacock curl is just going to add a little bit of shimmer in the water. Not a huge deal. Just tie in. It's funny how that camera makes that hook like, like it's about size 4. What size is that hook? Size 10. Is it 10? Yeah. Yeah, just add in a quick whip finish for wrapping this. There we go. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh well, it's a good thing I put that whip finish in there. Oh yeah. Whoops. Don't know what I was thinking there. I think I'm done. Hot spot or something. And change threads. That's what I thought he was doing was yeah. changing threads. So you can. I could. But I'm just okay. gonna stick with put that yellow green back on. Okay, now you guys are just like <laughs> oh messing with me. Okay. There we go. Now we're back. You got a chunk hanging down underneath there too. I know, it's okay. just gonna cover up. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap my peacock curl up and down that little slot. Oh, it sure makes that easy, eh? Oh, this, this rotary vice, oh, it's my, my love. What's your vice at home, Ethan? Oh, I just have some non-name rotary vice in it. It is a rotary? You got a rotary? No, I don't. 
Non-rotary. Non-rotary. It's just make this just Static. makes life so much easier. <clears throat> there we go. Cut that nub off. Again, I said this was a pretty simple fly, fly tie, um, but it's guaranteed fish. Fish catch guarantee on that. Yeah, I like your thinking. Kid. Well, almost fish catch guarantee. You have to be a good fisherman. No, you don't. Not good. Yeah, cool. Not good, but you you have to know what you're doing. <laughs> okay. It'll catch fish. Okay. So now I've got my Solaroid um, UV Solares. Solares U UV Cure Thin. Um, this stuff hardens instead of gels, unlike some other guys. Um, yeah, you guys know that sound. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put some of this stuff it, on it there. It doesn't finish tacky is what you were trying yeah, to say. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't finish tacky. That's a big one. And now I'm just gonna spread that cure all the way down my shank. I'm just gonna let it drip sense. down into the bottom part of the fly. <laughs> Awesome no shot. That's like me. I'm gonna hit all like it. it's like my whole face and I have to find a fly. <laughs> Just gonna start curing it. It's crazy how that This easy. stuff cures pretty quickly too. It's insane. Oh. Losing power. Losing power. Give it, give it a whack. I there we go. go. Yeah, so you can see that stuff is already fairly hard. I, can... I like the blue glow that that bead has. Yeah, it's really funky. Shows the underlay. Underlay, underlay. There we go. That's all hard. I just have a little piece. I'm just going to snip off. There we go. And that's hard. You can see how hard that, or how fast that cures. It's pretty insane especially with that light so yeah this is my chronomid that's a beauty yeah you have to leave that with me I'm gonna give it a good testing for you that's good okay we'll go up top here and we'll get that funky beat going again okay that's good there it is buddy okay so we're up top now uh, you saw my pretty simple chronomid again chronomids aren't very technical unlike some other flies but um, they will catch fish so, um, yeah, that's pretty much my fly for this week. Um, I'm going to try for a scud next week. No guarantees, but I'm going to try. Um, Scott Laboldis and Scotty Holmes, I believe, have got a fly. What about you, Brad? Okay, so Scott or Brad's got one too. Sounds I, I like... got one on the back here. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so Brad's got one, so we, and Zach's obviously got some, so... There's flies. There's flies. There, there's no shortage of a recipe for this weekend. Uh, see ya.